long time no upload. Today we're doing a Duo Lira photo shoot uh, because my duo partner is moving across the country to California to go to a PhD program. Uh, so we organized a photo shoot right before she left. She moves in less than a week. <laughs> Uh, we've been working on Duo stuff um, the entirety of our aerial career. Yeah. So we've got several moves picked out and we've been focusing on Lyra, Duo Lyra, for the past two months probably, maybe longer. Oh yeah, I have no idea. We, our first experience on a Lyra was Duo. Yeah, and that was the miserable. The very first time we got on. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> we were like, never again, we're not getting on this thing again. <laughs> We've gotten much better since then. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I figured I would vlog this photo shoot and see what happens. Um, were they looking at you? Uh, I'll choose no. Uh, photo shoots are interesting when you're an aerialist because you have to have someone there to spin you and to yell at you to point your toes and to remind you of every trick you've ever learned. Uh, <laughs> so we're bringing Kat. Kat's gonna meet us at the studio. Uh, we're doing it at Dimension. Uh, we hired um, Zach Geyer to take our pictures. He's a local Cincinnati photographer and we met him uh, because his children did aerials with us at the last place we went. And he like specializes in gymnastics and dance and aerial photography, right? I really don't know what he does. Oh, okay. He seems to do a lot. He shoots a lot of Zoe and Gia, which are some local aerialists. Um, and I shot with him an underwater photo shoot last weekend and those turned out really cool so and we had a very short notice Emily was gonna do this for you for us my sister and then she dislocated her knee instead so we hired Zach and uh, he agreed to do this within like a week so really nice of him yeah all right see you at the studio I decided super last minute to vlog this experience, so I really didn't know quite what I was going to do for this video. So I thought I would list out my top 10 aerial tips, or top 7 aerial tips, however many it ends up being, for aerial photo shoots. Of course, you do have to start with a warm-up, but my first tip is to have a partner, like I said, in the car. Today, our partner is Kat. She's going to spin us, tell us to point our toes, to straighten our knees, anything like that. It's very easy to have a micro bend and not realize it or have a flexed foot, or you're making a really weird face. Tip number two is to start with the easy stuff. Here you can see Zach is just setting up his lights and me and Anna are just kind of messing around on the hoop. We have a set of mirrors behind us and a set of mirrors in front of us, so Zach has to make sure that stuff isn't going to reflect his lights or show up anything weird in the background. As you can see, we've got a big old ladder that he's using. So we're gonna start with the easy stuff while he tests his lights. You don't wanna exhaust yourself too quick. And simple poses are beautiful. Some of my favorite pictures are me just sitting in the hoop or me doing Amazon. You can see me and Anna are doing some pretty basic, pretty poses here first while he gets his lighting all settled. Tip number three is to make a list of poses and ideas that you want to hit. Like I said in the car, me and Anna have been working on duo stuff for a couple months now. So we had a list of poses that are our favorites and poses that we definitely wanted to use. And then we had some others in mind, uh, just in case for when we get tired or if we had extra time. Like some of those easy poses at the beginning weren't really on our list, but we knew they'd be good to warm up with. This shoulder stand pose we just did has been in our top three for forever, so we made sure we got a good shot of that. And we also have a few counterbalances that we really like, so we made sure to put those in in the beginning before we got too tired to hold them. <laughs> Were you shaking? I was shaking. I was shaking. Which brings us to tip number four. Half hour is plenty of time if you're doing a photo shoot by yourself. My very first aerial photo shoot I did with a professional photographer, I only had a half hour time slot, and that was plenty of time for me to get dozens of good Lyra pics and dozens of good Silks pics. Just make sure they time you halfway through so you can switch, or if you've got a change of costumes, I think I even did one costume change and one 
Apparatus change in the half hour was plenty of time. Tip number five, you must hold every pose much longer than you think you'll need to. You'll need at least one rotation, usually more, so that the photographer can catch every angle. And again, that's why we brought Cat to help spin us or stop us from moving. If you're trying to capture motion, like your hair flipping or a costume twirling, be prepared to keep doing these motions a lot. Which brings us to tip number six, you will be sore. Definitely don't plan an aerial photo shoot before a show or a performance because it may seem simple to just pose, but having to hold them for so long and do them multiple times really tests your muscle endurance and stamina much more than your regular practice. My final tip of the video is tip number seven, and that is to hire an experienced photographer. Not everyone knows how to photograph movement or physique, and aerialists can be very tricky to capture. Like I said earlier, we knew Zach had photographed aerialists before and we'd seen his work already, but experience doesn't necessarily mean expensive, and expensive doesn't necessarily mean your photos will turn out good. Now that's not to say that you can't get good photos from your friend who just bought a DSLR. However, if you're working in a gym setting like a studio, it definitely helps to have a photographer who knows how to set up the lighting and how to get these cool effects that we've managed to get here and how to cancel out the background, etc. I believe we paid $200 total, so about $100 each between me and Anna, and we also had to pay studio rental to Dimension. And we got 10 photos plus the black and white versions of these photos. Shoot is done, and that was really cool. I'm really excited to see everything's acted. Um, we didn't use a backdrop, he just set up the lighting so that it would wash out the background and then we did some cool silhouette shots and he showed us a bunch of previews and he used some really cool colors. Um, I'm really excited to see them. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. <laughs> he said he'd get them back by the 4th, which is 10 days. Yeah, I'm very happy we decided to use Zach instead of my younger sister. <laughs> yeah, me too. So that was actually filmed almost a year ago. Um, it is January of 2022 right now. That photo shoot was like June or July of 2021. Anna is well into her PhD program at uh, California. Um, yeah, so that photo shoot was really fun and it's got some of my favorite pictures so far. Um, if you wanna see more, you can check out my Instagram. They are way down there though, because like I said, this photo shoot was nearly a year ago today. Um, yeah, that's all I've got for you. Uh, I'm going to try to be better about uploading. I'm going to try to have a better upload schedule and really prioritize it this year in 2022 and try to get a better workflow and hold myself accountable. So, see you next time. Yeah, that's all for this one, folks. <laughs>